Nigel Rees, Jim Weish and uh, Nick Hauling, your, uh, your commentary team, and let's uh, head over to them right now. Well, you took the words out of my mouth because the winner here will be in control of this group, no doubt about that. And Luke Salvas, I was talking to him last night. He knows full well he's prepared for this one. He fancies his chances against Takahashi. He says he beat him before. I think Takahashi has come into this as a decided favorite, but if anyone has overcome the jet lag and the time change, it's been the man from Montreal, Canada, Luke Salvas. And one thing about it, coming from Montreal, Canada, I can tell you because I'm not a long ways away, Nick, you don't have to change your watch. <laughs> A 12 hour differential. Dead right. Mind you, I said that to Tony Drago the other day. He was wearing a digital watch. He missed the joke. It would be like. So, a re lag, I guess uh, that close. You don't see that very often. Luke, the lefty. Lucky Luke, they call him. Will need lady luck in his corner Hello. today. No, who's got it here? That's another close Ooh, one. Though. I like Takahashi yeah. just. He's got it. Well, if that's any indication the way this match is going to go, you yeah. wouldn't want to live on the difference. Well, if that is an indication, come back in the ninth frame because we're going to go the distance. Here is the former champion, Kunihiko Takahashi, 48 years old now. They say pool is a young man's game, but this fella will tell you you get better with experience. We bet against him. Very quietly going about his First business track, here. Race to five, alternate breaks, Takahashi to break. Uh, I was looking at that graphic and uh, I, I can't believe it's right. It looked like age 18. I can't believe that. He's not, uh, he's not 18. No, no, I, I can't believe he's 18 years old. He's the oldest looking 18 year old in the world if he is. We'll get you some glasses for tomorrow, Jim. <laughs> One thing about it, I brought my glasses with me. I think I might just grab them here. 48 is Kunihiko Takahashi's age. Well, it doesn't matter if he's 18 or 48. He's uh, he certainly spread those balls about there on that break. Well, if he know, if he knew at 18 years old, what he knows now, what a difference Push in out his cold. life there may have been. So the push out elected. He can't get through to the two. And he's just dangled a little bit of a bait there for his opponent because Luke can see that two now. And he might just fancy having a crack at that. Oh, if he can see it, he will definitely have a go at it. But if he can't, it's going to be Takahashi back in. that angle he can't see it from the overhead it looked like there might just have been a piece of it now this is uh, a shot that Takahashi may play with a bit of speed I just barely got the words out you know something I, I, I can't believe that he would have played into an area to try and snooker himself like that and this is a big chance for Luke Salvas to open an account in this match. Well, that'll work. Got a perfect angle to bring that cue ball back the other side of the table. Now then, where's that going? Right where he didn't want it to go. Anywhere but there, Luke says. out of a, a hole that he dug for himself there but he'll be disappointed because he knows he had a real chance to clean it up there we certainly got second prize no doubt about that but once again it's going to be Takahashi firing from out of a hook
Day two here in Taipei. Two more days of player positioning in the round robin section. Oh, dear, oh dear, oh dear. Oh, shot. Ball in hand. Well, oh, that must surely cost him the rack. Ball in hand, three open balls left. I think Luke could turn the cue around and use the back end to knock these in. Yeah, Giff wrapped it. His first rack. The Japanese player and uh, Sal Vass needed no second invitation. So the quick fire man from Montreal has grabbed the early initiative here in this race to five. Salvas takes the first rack. Well, Luke will be breaking off. And he wastes little time Back breaking, two. too. Luke and he's got a good break. Leading one rack to nil. Made sure to let the referee get the uh, the score out first. Well, they call him lucky Luke, don't they? But uh, not the best of luck there. Oh, this will be interesting. Easy to contact the one. That's the reason he's just pushing and going to do just that. here a little while. Kinihiko's got a shot here. Use that three. He can draw that cue ball in behind. Just like that. In behind the pink four. So Salvas has got to dig himself out once again. Now where is it going to go? put a lot of distance between the two balls but the Japanese player will take a look at this and say to himself this is mine pass the salt don't know whether or not that two passes the four into the other corner pocket and finally Kunihiko goes over to take a look I was waiting for him to do that but everything else is in the open. If it does go, this is the key shot. Well, I don't know about that one. Oh, it crossed my mind. He might have been looking for the center pocket, but he's left himself a horrible angle to get that. He'll never play this in the center. If it goes into the corner, he may elect to take a very difficult shot on. And the other option, draw the cue ball in behind the pink four again. Yeah, I don't think that's what he was playing for. He's had to uh, head for the hills. Again, that second prize. That's uh, a couple of times we've said that about Takahashi already in this match. He's not potting very confidently, is he? He didn't want to be doing that. We've got a fluke. Nope. A chance for Takahashi here. An open two as you see the shot Luke Salvas just played and it not hit that side knuckle that might well have dropped Takahashi in the weeds. But as it is these are the sort of pots that you've really got to get and it's not easy. He knows it. He also knows that it's a rack winner if he gets it. Top right. Obviously, uncertainty in his mind. I never like seeing a player get up off the queue. It's like sending a message that you know he's not comfortable. Well, he's not going to be comfortable with that either, is he? That's awful for uh, Takahashi. 
You know something, Nick, in hindsight, I'm not so sure that he could see enough of that to make it because there's no way he would have played the bank shot if he could see enough of that three. And Luke will whistle through these. We're only in the second rack, Jim, but it, it seems to me we've, we've had two or three occasions already where Takahashi seems to have been caught in two minds and uh, played a shot that's been neither one thing nor the other. As you say, Luke, when he's presented with an opportunity, doesn't get bonus points for staying at the table for any length of time. He likes to get on with it and move on. Not ideal position here. A thin cut on the nine. Nicely done. Again, the opportunity was given to him and he took it. And that's why the Canadian is 2 nothing up on his opponent. Finished in the last 16 in this event last year. Lots of international experience. Probably the most traveled Canadian player that I can think of. Plays all over the world, does Luke Salvas. The recent Canadian Championships just finished under a month ago. He finished third. The eventual winner, a good buddy of his, also from Montreal, the Dancing Bear, Alain Martel. Right, Takahashi needs to go to work here. ball hasn't gone and I'm not sure anything else has gone well, one of the few occasions we haven't seen a ball pocketed on the break it's never easy to play anyone that comes to the table and deposits the balls and racks as quickly as a player like Luke Salvas or a Tony Drago can be very Push intimidating and you really have to make a concerted effort to maintain your composure and your speed of play that you're comfortable with so easy to get sped up. That's what Takahashi's battling. Salas has tried to play hide and seek, and I think he's just about pulled it off. And uh, looking around the table there, Jim, the person that gets control of this one ball is going to be taking a look at the rest of the rack and saying, yeah, I can uh, clean up. Good looking shot, that one from Takahashi. Forcing Salvas. Again, well, he's he did nothing more than a safety shot. He's gone upstairs and uh, seems to have found a little uh, free area in the attic there. As Takahashi's going to be uh, taking a look at a long and very ambitious bank. Held the cue ball very nicely behind the eight there. This should forge an opening. Wow. Well, Is that going to fluke its way in? Oh, ho, ho, ho. it forged an opening, but not for the player, I thought. You know, I asked you earlier, why is he known as Lucky Luke? <laughs> it pays to hit him.
Salvas has already won his first two matches, 5 0 and 5 1. And if he secures this one by a similar score line, he will really be in command in his group. Well, he's going to be 3 0 here. I think you could put a blindfold on him for the next two shots and he'd still make them. Such an instinctive player to be able to play at this speed and with this accuracy. The machine gun, 3 0 in front of former world champion Kunihiko Takahashi. One way traffic here at the World Trade Center. It's all heading the way of the Canadian champion, Luke Salvas. What a welcome fluke that one was. Here, isn't he, Takahashi? And uh, Rack four, Luke he's, he's barely had a chance at a pass. He's, he's had a few safety shots, and that's about it, really, isn't it? Salvas is uh, on deck straight away. He's got a couple down, including the one and the two sitting pretty. This is four nil. The southpaw quick to the table. Lights out. I don't know if we've got a stopwatch on this. This may be the fastest rack we've had so far in the tournament. Well, I'm betting less than a minute. I'm reaching for the pen. Well, our official timekeeper resigned when they uh, saw that Salvas was coming to the table anyway, because nobody can keep up with this fella. That was double quick, wasn't it? 4-0, just like that. Salvas on the hill. That last rack, the fastest in the tournament so far. Salvas. Doesn't mess about, does he? He's doing this to a former world champion. Let's get back to our uh, commentary. Plenty more to come as well. Shamat, Suke, Eberle, Folds, all to play, and we'll bring you highlights from Pagalion, Rodney Morris, and Johnny Archer a little bit later on in the afternoon. Given the alternating break format, a 4 0 lead that much more formidable simply because you know Luke Salvas is going to get a couple cracks with the break. So even if Takahashi did win this rack, Salvas would be breaking in number five, seven, and nine if it went that far. I right, went for the seven in the side, all or nothing. Luke Salvas might well be putting his second 5 0 score line straight up to the scoring tent. Well, Salvas is already up and running. He's, he's nailed that uh, three, and it uh, looks like he's going to clean up a double quick time again here. But if you're Takahashi in that situation, you might as well go for it. I mean, go for your shot rather than uh, just say, well, I didn't even try. Absolutely. No, I, I totally agree with the shot selection there. It just uh, this match just wasn't to be. You forget about it and move on. Well, it's another typical Luke Salvas match. This isn't it. If you went out to make a cup of tea and you just come back and uh, wonder what you missed. You missed another whitewash. He wastes no time. He gets down to business and he gets on with it. And once again, it's five nil. Luke Salvas. Thank you, Chinese people. <laughs> <laughs> He's done it again. 